And so to start the Make It Rain campaign, we do need to be in Ulda. So let's go to Ulda and make it rain. You guys like my new dancer outfit? It should be Hippie Jackya. Hippie Jackya needs help penning her next article. Got a little bit of lag going on. As I live and breathe, is that Giselle? What a pleasant surprise. You're the reporter, right? Kip, uh, have we met before? Is your brother Nagi doing well? Oh, dude, have we met before? Have we met before? Okay, it's still going slow. Here we go. Don't tell me you've forgotten who I am. It's me, Kippy Jack, yeah, reporter, and don't, and dare I say, wordsmith, or the Raven. Don't even, or did you even read the article you helped me write? Too busy adventuring, I suppose. It was the highlight of my already illustrious career, and I'm overjoyed to see you again. I'm pretty sure I work with her on the Ladies' Day thing. Actually, I'm in need of help to write my latest piece, and since Fortune has placed you before me, I wonder if you wouldn't lend me a hand. Your contribution shall be much appreciated, I'm sure. Now then, the matter at hand is this invitation which was sent to the Raven offices from the Gold Saucer. We have been asked to write a piece on the festivities currently underway at the establishment. Naturally, as the Raven's most senior reporter, I was chosen for this privileged task. I carry the reputation of my publication on my shoulders, and there's no shame in recruiting an assistant or two with whom to share the weight. I need someone with keen skills of observation and a dazzling insight. Judging by our previous adventures, there's none more suited for this task than you, dear Giselle. So how about it? Can I count on you? You can count on me. Very good. Well then, let's depart to the Gold Saucer at once. The invitation states that a member of the staff awaits our arrival at Entrance Square. Pop up. There we go. Alrighty, so now let's go to Old Sasor. Manderville Gold Saucer. Okay. Um play. That's where we go. There you are, adventurer. Let's not keep our host waiting. Ah, you must be from the uh, Ah, you must be from the Raven. Allow me to welcome you personally to the Gold Saucer. Oh, I did not expect to see you there, Miss Mistress Lightshell. You are always welcome as our honored guest. 
an honored guest, it's, is it? It seems I picked the right adventurer for the job. Mr. Lightshield is helping you? Well, I must say this gives the Raven a significant advantage. With your arrival, all our guests are present. Now, if I could have but a moment of your time. Illustrious reporters of Eorzea, I welcome you, one and all, to the Gold Saucer. My name is Olie, and I have the distinct pleasure of serving as attendant to da 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 da. As you are well aware, we are currently holding our most fabulous event of the year, the Make It Rain campaign. During its duration, guests may receive up to 50% more MGP, a currency which can be exchanged within these gilded walls for a bevy of fantastic goods. People of all stripes pour into the Gold Saucer during this event, eager to take their piece of the generous bounty we offer. However, some of Neorzia have yet to grace us with their patronage, which is why we have invited the most esteemed reporters in the realm to partake in our festivities, and prepared sizable compensation for your resulting articles. Everybody's happy! Of course, a simple tour would hardly suffice to satisfy such curious minds as yours, so we have taken the liberty of preparing a little diversion for the occasion. Behold this masterful mammoth, made in the precise likeness of Godbert Menderville. We have hidden four throughout the gold saucer, one in each section, including Chocobo Square. Use your keen reporter sense to seek them out, and to the one who finds the most... You shall reward an exclusive interview with the man himself, President Godbert Menderville of Menderville and Menderville, right in Goldsmith and proprietor of Dreams. Hey. No paper has ever succeeded in securing a personal interview with Godbert Mandeville. Can you believe our luck? He's right. An interview with Godbert Mandeville would draw even more eyes to the Raven than news of another calamity. This isn't a competition competition to be taken lightly. Hmm, the reward is worthwhile to be sure, but Master Tharal and I have come here alone, while the Raven seems to have sent two reporters. I propose that the Harbor he Herald and the Mithril Eye join forces. It would even the odds enough, he thinks. I have no objection to that. The winners go matterful secrets. Losers, pitiful ignorance. Let's keep our eyes well peeled, adventurer. Oh. Uh, and let us make it, or then let us make an addendum to the rules. In the case both teams find the same number of mammoths, the swiftest to return will be judged the victor. Now let the mammoth hunt begin. Search every corner of our establishment, and may you find the bounties you seek. I mean, the other two have already run off, so we are obviously at a disadvantage. If there are four wind-up godbirds hidden out there, we should each search for two. You take Wonder Square and Round Square, and I'll cover the remaining two sections. An equal division of labor. Okay. If anything happens, we can stay in touch via Link Pearl. Now, let's find those mammoths and win that interview. I can't even move until it lets me continue. There we go. I don't know why I've got this light going on. Alright, search for the wind of Godbert's. Oh. 
like a beacon of light. Found a wind-up rubber. Bad news, adventurer. It seems I wasn't quick enough to the mammoth in Entrance Square. Please tell me you're faring better than I. I found one. You found one? Thank goodness. We're still in the running. I'll make haste to Event Square. Godspeed in finding your final mammoth. Found a wind up rubber. Adventurer, good news this time. I found the mammoth in Event Square. You found yours too? Then it's settled. That interview is mine. Oh, is ours, of course. We must report our victory to Ollie at once. See you at Entrance Square. No. If this company was really smart, they would have made the uh, mammoths in the rides themselves. Get people to actually you know, partake instead of just run around. Let's get some here. Yay, I did it. Welcome back. Mr. Straka has informed me that you were able to find two mammoths. Indeed, exactly two likenesses. The final results are as follows. Three mammoths found by the reporters of the Raven and one mammoth followed by the... Uh, uh, the reporters of Mithril Eye and Harbor Herald. Looking at the mammoths now. Which means that the Raven shall be rewarded an exclusive interview with Lord Manderville. Congratulations to you both. The cherry bomb wants to be in the picture. Once you have sufficiently prepared yourselves, simply speak to me and I shall summon him forthwith. <gasps> I give one! Makes me happy. Allier stands at the ready to call upon the gold saucer's proprietor. I trust you're ready for an interview. I shall call upon Lord Mandeville, so please wait here until his arrival. As for the Harbor Herald and the Mithril Eye, I ask that you follow me. While none of us are as knowledgeable as Laura Manderville, our staff shall do their utmost to guide you upon an educational, and dare I say entertaining, journey of the gold saucer. Wear short shorts. Oh ho ho! Apologies for the wait. I take it you're you're the eagle-eyed reporter from the Raven, accompanied by none other than my old friend Giselle. I see. You haven't decided to doff the mantle of adventure in favor of a reporter's quill and ink, have you? <clears throat> Lord Mandeville, it's a pleasure to make your personal acquaintance. My name is Kippy Jockey of the Raven, and I have the honor of penning this exclusive interview with your esteemed personage. This adventurer is kind enough to assist me on this project. 
so please consider her a temporary member of our staff. Hi! Very good, very good. I'm overjoyed to host you both at my darling gold saucer. Naturally, I expect some initial awkwardness as I become accustomed to the process, but I shall do my utmost to bear both body and soul to your inquiries. Ask away. Your candor is much appreciated, Lord Mandevo. Now then, perhaps you might share with us some exclusive details regarding the Gold Saucer's creation. Oh ho ho, a simple question. I thought you might ask me to divulge the secret of my family's peerless beauty, which has been carefully guarded for generations. Uh, yes, well, I intend to get there in time, of course. But the objective of my article is to contain the charm of your establishment to my raiders, and we're better that to start than with the tale of its inception. Only a reporter most masterful looks past the beauty of the man to the beauty of what he has wrought. How delightful indeed! Come, allow me to give you the grand tour whilst answering your question with pomp and circumstance. Let us head for the Aetherite Plaza, which rests in the heart of Gold Saucer. From there I shall guide and show you why House Manderville's ingen ingenuity knows no equal. Whew. Here we go. Some of the following events cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending. Okay. In the tour, yes. Allow me to welcome you anew to the Gold Saucer. I, Godbert Mandeville, am at your complete disposal. Simply <clears throat> tell me where you wish to go, and you shall have my personal escort. Entrance square, I guess. Let's start. Five years after the seventh unbroken calamity ravaged Eorzea, the gold saucer rose from the sands of Ulda, serving as a beacon for all in the realm who sought leisure and diversion. The calamity had dealt the city states a grievous blow and each and every citizen had worked tirelessly to see their homes healed. I built the Gold Saucer to be a place where the beleaguered could forget their worries for a time and remember the fling smile, the feeling of a smile on their faces. A noble purpose, to be sure, especially considering the amount of your own wealth you poured into the reconstruction efforts. To build a legendary monument of recreation during such trying times must have been challenging, considering the resources and manpower necessary for such an undertaking. But that is exactly why it had to be done, to give work to the hands robbed of purpose by disaster and thereby construct the backbone of a thriving economy. I owe a great debt to each and every person under my employ. It was only by their hard work and diligence that the gold saucer was able to aid yours yet in its rebuilding. As the cactus weathers hot desert climes, so too did my workers persevere with inde indefatigable spirit. For this reason, I chose the saboteur as our mascot, with the appellation Senor as a sign of respect. All that being said, the gold saucer is no charity. Quite the opposite, in fact. An operation of this magnitude would soon shrivel in the sun without the steady flow of profit. There is much more I can say on the matter, but alas, we only have so much time. Let us return to the Aetherite Plaza and perhaps consider a change of scenery. Two round square. Round square. Next square. Ho oh, ho ho, round square, yes. So famous for, uh... Ah yes, of course. Mount Coral soars majestic over its domain. Have you ever seen its like before? I'd wager you haven't. For this peak that countless visitor, it For this countless visitor, I'm to send daily its construction of my imagination. You know what inspired me? 
inspired? This was fashioned based on a model? That it was, but I'm not surprised the name did it when it ring familiar. Mount Coral appears in a classic tale I used to enjoy immensely as a young lad. As a mountain that fed a booming mining industry, you can see how it would inspire the liberal use of explosives for this attraction. Secure bombs from goblin artisans, thereby extending a unique commercial opportunity to merchants who might otherwise be shunned or feared by others. Naturally, we needed to ensure the explosives would create a thrilling spectacle without risk of injury. I myself spent many a day testing the efficacy of a variety of blasting powders upon my person. Oh, to be young again. <laughs> like those two in the background were listening in. Alas, although I could expound upon this topic for moons, I'm sure your readers wish for an article as varied as the saucer itself. Let us return to the Aetheric Plaza and consider what we might go to next. To the event square. <sighs> Here we go. Oh ho, as the name implies, here is where we hold our grandest events. At present, Masters Typhon and Yojimbo perform the regularly scheduled activities here. Ah oh, yeah, speaking of this Master Typhon, I've heard tell that he's a terrifying monster whose sneezes are powerful enough to send someone flying off their feet. Part of my directness, but does not this pose the danger to your de guests? Danger? Why no, none at all. You can rest assured that beyond... Behind Master Typhon's frightening countenance lies the heart of a model employee who cares deeply for the safety of our guests. It appears. Ah, I remember the day we met fondly. Master Typhon had been ushered into our realm due to an attempt by the Thaumaturgy's Guild to summon Void Scent, and after a journey full of twists and turns that yielded him no means to return from whence he came, he decided to seek gainful employment. Once I heard of his story, I knew he'd be perfect as one of our attractions. After the requisite job interviews, I hired him on the spot. Albeit, he did get off to a sticky start, unleashing sneeze upon mighty sneeze in alarming succession. However, once I realized he meant only to offer up a reprieve from the day's blistering heat, I thanked him for his kindness, and he has been amenable to constructive criticism ever since. Huh. Okay. Now, as much as I would like to... Con Regale you further, I fear I'm on the edge of rambling. Let us conclude our tour of the event square and return to the Aetherite Plaza. And to Wonder Square. Statue. Wonder Square was envisioned as a place where our patrons can kick up their feet and take in the wander scenery we've arranged for them. Second floor is equipped with a cocktail lounge which offers the realm's finest libation. I didn't know that. From what I've heard, this area is among the most popular. Is it true that you even offer games hailing from the Far East? Oh ho, just so. Our Domon Mahjong has received great acclaim since its introduction here. It was brought to my attention by an employee who spent some time in the Far East. There, it is played as simple recreation, as a display of hospitality, or in fierce competition among common folk and ability alike. Truly, it brings me great joy that people can come here to enrich themselves with games from distant lands. I only hope that we can introduce even more games from places far and wide to the people of Eorzea. Excuse me.
Ah, uh, but there is still so much to see. Perhaps you should return to the Aetheric Plaza and consider the next part of your hard-won interview. I think this is the last part. <sighs> I've seen enough. Are you sure you wish to conclude? Yes, it is time to end the tour. Very good. I believe I have more than enough information to write several articles. It's been a while since I've spoken to my beloved Gold Saucer at such length. I do hope my ramblings do not bore you. Far from it, Lord Minderville. I quite enjoyed your anecdotes, and I'm, as I'm sure each and every one of the Raven's readers will too. Oh, ho, I'm delighted to hear it. We built the gold saucer to revitalize commerce and rekindle the spark of joy in people's lives. Laughter and smiles are much, as much lifeblood as food and shelter. This place serves to fulfill all that too elusive need. Not only for our patrons, but for our workers who tirelessly keep the gold saucer operating smoothly. My greatest hope is for their happiness. See, a beacon of joy guiding people to the smiles they've forgotten. I believe I can use that. Thank you for everything, Lord Manderville. This interview gave me all I need for a phenomenal article. Oh, ho, ho, it was entirely my pleasure. May your pen burst forth with inspiration, as do the clouds with rain, or as the gold saucer with MGP. Do be sure to speak with Olier on your way out. He has something prepared that I believe will bring a smile to your face. Like gold itself, the ideals which guide this establishment are immutable. I invite the both of you to return when, whensoever you please. All right, let's talk to Olie when he shows up. Welcome back. Allow me to thank you once again for answering our invitation. The pleasure is all mine. It was an honor to hear such first-hand accounts from the Gold Saucer's founder. I see now that this amusement center was designed with much care for the people it serves. In fact, I'm thinking of entitling my article, The Gold Saucer, where hearts of Gold rain. I hope it will convince more people to come and visit for themselves, and perhaps take with them the heart of full mirth. Of course I haven't forgotten you, adventurer. I shall make sure to credit you on my article front and center. But before you depart, allow me to present you with a small token of our appreciation. Our event will be underway for some time yet, so we hope you will continue to enjoy all the gold saucer has to offer. I get a wind up god bear. Do, 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 do. There goes Kippy. There goes Ollie. Everything gold can stay. That's a fun achievement. Let's use this one. Okay. All right. Well, now that that's done, let's go ahead and start the MSQ. Wait, I forgot to do a thing. Hold on. Learned him and I'm not using him? What's wrong with me? Oh, my Let's see. Here you are. Sorry, Cherry Bum. There he is. Oh, I love it. Love it. Actually, no, I need to get a picture of this. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> he got rid of his shirt. That's so funny. All right. Let's... Oh. Ha, 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 ha. 